So my name is Will Lighthizer. I'm a senior UX researcher. Uh, today we're going to be talking about some research that we did on representation of GitLab additions. So I'll hand it off at this point to Dylan. Hi, Dylan. Hey, Will. Uh, thank you for the intro. My name is Dylan Reno, and I'm the product manager for distribution. And this research pertains to how we represent the different editions of GitLab. This was originally started due to just the general hypothesis that users were potentially arriving on a certain edition of GitLab more due to the name uh, or how it was represented rather than the purpose of the edition. For example, users potentially associate enterprise with cost and community with free, when really enterprise has a free tier and community edition is more for the open source community. And though it is free, it is potentially difficult to manage. Uh, Will, what was the primary goal of this research? So the goal of this research was to investigate the current understanding of GitLab's Enterprise Edition and Community Edition. We wanted to explore the user journey of how individuals learn about these editions and the decision criteria they use for determining which edition to install. This included any potential pain points around how we as a company communicate and educate users about each edition. Great. And uh, how was this research conducted? So we conducted two rounds of surveys, uh, one round with internal employees who work with customers directly. So that's sales and support staff. And then another round with GitLab customers who use either the community or enterprise edition. Uh, from there, we conducted interviews with five individuals from both user groups. So uh, 10 individuals total um, to dive deeper into that problem space. Gotcha. And what were the research questions and ultimately what did we learn from them? Yeah, so we had a couple of research questions. Um, one of the top ones was, what do people know about the community and enterprise editions? So from our research, we learned that customers and even internal GitLab employees are confused about the fundamental differences between the editions. Uh, we examined this through knowledge-based questions in our survey. Um, so, you know, which one is open source, which one's free, and through deeper discussions around the two editions in our interviews. Um, this finding supports the preliminary insights from another related study that one of our uh, designers, Sun Jung, did earlier this year. Um, we also looked at why do people not know the difference between community and enterprise editions, and what are the underlying reasons for those confusions? Um, so employees described that the confusion stems from the difficulty finding information about the two editions within the GitLab website. Uh, the differences between the editions, you know, are not communicated very well, and the names of the editions don't really establish to users what they offer. Um, also, employees identified uh, through their own internal investigations that um, they saw on third-party sites, which are not in partnership with GitLab, direct customers um, to only one of two editions, specifically uh, the community edition. And customers' confusion typically comes from how they associate uh, the word cost with enterprise and the word free with community edition. So customers connect enterprise with specific use cases like with teams, organizations, and businesses, while community edition is associated with like individuals. Um, and a lot of this really stems from the historical and market context associated with those um, terms. Um, some of our other research questions were, why do people choose the community edition over the enterprise edition? We saw that customers often lean towards the community edition because it's seen as like a basic or starter version that provides all of the features and functionality they require for no cost. And then our final question was, how do uh, community edition users make the move to enterprise edition and why did they make the switch? So from our uh, survey that we did with internal employees, we found that it's fairly uncommon for users to upgrade the community edition um, to Enterprise Edition. So for example, roughly 72% of the employees we surveyed stated that 
customers have switched editions roughly zero to two times in the past 90 days. So when this does take place, you know, the reasons for switching editions are mostly to get access to those paid features or to get access to GitLab support. Got it. And uh, based on what we learned, what changes could we make to our existing communications? For example, in you know, our website, documentation, um, even the name of the editions to help users understand the difference between community edition and enterprise edition. Yeah, good question, Dylan. Uh, so in our research, we had participants look over a mock-up of an updated GitLab uh, webpage showing information about the two editions. So I'm gonna show that now. Great. And so as people were looking this over, they were giving us a lot of great feedback, you know, internal customers and um, employees were giving us feedback. So we got a lot of great suggestions on how to improve existing communication. So we could provide more information on the website with pricing details for free and paid tiers, uh, provide a feature breakdown to better understand uh, the features associated with each edition or tier, answers to common questions, and links directly on the page so that customers could learn more. Uh, from the employee perspective, we could show customers only the enterprise edition to reduce the amount of decision making associated with picking the appropriate edition for them. Alternatively, from the customer perspective, we could ask questions uh, about whether they're an individual or a company, the number of licenses they would need, and how they would plan to use GitLab uh, to determine if they are better suited for one edition over another. Um, also, internal employees indicated that customers were frustrated when they wanted to migrate from Community Edition to Enterprise Edition because they had to have the latest version and then had to migrate to the Enterprise Edition. So there's a need to make that process simpler and also communicate that upgrade process up front before they select one of the additions. Um, and then also we could work on things like SEO optimization. So customers are more likely to come across information um, for both editions when searching uh, online. We could sponsor the install page in the search results. So it's the first option to appear and then uh, we could even partner with third party sites to have them uh, update their documentation and install instructions uh, for enterprise and community edition. So Dylan, uh, what are we doing as a result of this research? Yeah, uh, thank you for that question, Will. Um, as you showed, the, the first, I think, iteration, sort of the NVC is, is um, doing um, a little bit more design. Um, on that what edition is right for you page that you showed. Um, I think we, we have a good MVC and, and we'll just kind of take that to completion. Um, and then as far as long-term goals, I, I think ultimately it would be great if we renamed GitLab editions. Um, some proposed renames could be, uh, community edition could just be GitLab open or GitLab open source. Um, we could even keep it as GitLab community edition. I, I think that would be totally fine. Um, as long as we pair that with renaming the enterprise edition to something as simple as just GitLab, it is just the addition of GitLab. Um, and this could lead into improving our third party marketplace builds with enterprise edition. Right now, as you mentioned earlier, a lot of these third party marketplaces, um, the, the folks that are building those kind of uh, options on those marketplaces are using community edition, uh, which I think is inhibiting the amount of users that kind of find their, their right home. Um, in, sh in the short term, um, even do further extensive reworks of that CE versus EE marketing page with more clear messaging. Um, so we can do this, you know, before doing a full rename, which, which I think would be a lot of work. Um, and I think the, the main thing, which we heard from a lot of our internal uh, interviews was directing the majority of users to EE. I, I, I don't know an exact percentage, but it is a very large majority of users they just want to be on EE, and I think they arrive at Community Edition um, potentially in error. Um, and, and this it could be coupled with improving our docs and messaging about kind of what open source is. And the folks who want to choose Community Edition, they they know they want to be uh, an open source contributor, and that Enterprise Edition also has a free tier. 
I think that's the key thing is a lot of folks don't even know that Enterprise Edition is free um, or has a free tier, I should say. Um, and then, yeah, just in, improving our migration documentation from CE to EE. Um, you mentioned a couple of pain points around um, users not wanting to upgrade or needing to upgrade from Community Edition because they want to access paid features. Um, and it's a difficult and lengthy process. Um, but kind of paired with that, another thing I wanted to call out from the research was that, you know, customers often lean towards community edition because it's senior basic or starter. Um, I, I think that is, again, uh, the wrong way to look at community edition. Uh, community edition is truly for the passionate open source contributors or, or folks that want to actually um, change the core code base of GitLab. And I think the, the general user is, that that's not really what they want to get into. They just want to access GitLab and utilize it for free. And, and in that case, Enterprise Edition would be the right one for them. But again, they're kind of um, distracted uh, by the, the word enterprise. So those are just a couple options. Um, I, I think that this is absolutely open to more uh, potential long-term and short-term uh, you know, actions to, to work on this. Awesome. Well, I'm interested to see what routes we go in. Thanks, Dylan. Absolutely. Thank you for the research, Will. This was a tremendous amount of work. And uh, you know, thank you to a few other folks who, who helped set this up. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.